All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Neo Geo CD up and running on your At Games Legends Ultimate. And I'm also going to go over this week's firmware release features. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Okay, so another week another firmware release from at games and there's actually a few things that we're going to talk about here but before we do that i do want to mention that at games is currently running a mother's day contest on social media where anybody who submits an image of their favorite gaming memory with their mother will actually be gifted five byog hours so that's actually really cool and very kind of them to do it i will leave all the information as to where you send these photos and how you submit everything in the description down below. Keep in mind that these photos have to be in by this Friday, May 8th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want five free BYOG hours, go on down to the description and get yourself a photo submitted. Now moving on into the firmware release, we've got a few features. The big ones here are going to be that we have a couple more games that are gonna be added to the leaderboard. Those games are going to be the arcade version of Magical Drop, as well as the arcade version of Lock and Chase. Some of the other major features that we're going to have is support for the use of two different aim track light guns at the same time. So if you've got two different guns and you're playing a two player game, you can now configure everything so both guns will be active on the screen at the same time. And the last major feature that we're going to see here is that the player now has the option to select the best image for capturing their online leaderboard score. So this should substantially improve the reliability on games with hard to image high score displays. So if you've got a game where the color contrast is weird or maybe the background blends in with your high score, you're actually going to have the ability to adjust things so that way you can actually capture your true high score and submit it. Now, obviously, as always, there's a bunch of minor improvements with the UI and general performance and stability improvements, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip over those and we're gonna go ahead and switch over to my computer so I can show you guys how to get Neo Geo CD up and running. Okay, so here we are on my computer and as you can see, my USB drive is plugged into my computer. There are a few things that we are going to need in advance. Now, obviously we are going to need the Neo Geo CD games. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do these three games. I've got Metal Slug 2, Samurai Showdown 4, and I've got the King of Fighters 99. Now, of course you can go ahead and grab whatever games you want, but these are the three that I'm gonna showcase for this video specifically. Additionally, we're going to need the corresponding artwork for those games in PNG format. And then as always, we have the option to add a bezel. I'm going to go ahead and just use a standard Neo Geo CD bezel that I thought looked nice. And then the last major thing that we're going to need are the BIOS files. So I've got the BIOS files right over here, and these are the ones that you're going to need. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. I can't tell you where to find these. I can only provide you the name of the BIOS files. You're gonna to have to locate them yourself. The first one is just neocd.bin and the other one is 000-lo.lo. So you need to go ahead and find those yourself. Otherwise, this process is not going to work. Now, the first thing that we actually have to do is download the custom core. And as always, we got this one from Wild Coder. And again, I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. Go on down there, subscribe to his channel, show him some love because he's doing some awesome work. But we just got to go on down to this website right over here. As always, links will be in the description. You'll want to make sure that this is the Neo CD underscore libretro dot so core. If you're happy with that, we want to go ahead and hit the download button and direct download. And I'm going to go ahead and save that right to my desktop. We can go ahead and minimize that. So I've got that right over here. We're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to extract it to its own folder. And I've got that folder right over here. Now we can get rid of the zip file because we don't need it. And inside of this folder, we should have access to our core. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that out and uh, we can go ahead and ditch this as well. So now we've got everything that we need. We've got our optimized core, we've got our BIOS files, we've got all our artwork and we've got our game. So the first thing that we're gonna do is load the BIOS files onto the USB drive. We're gonna go into our content folder. And again, if you don't have these folders on your USB drive because you haven't done any of the other previous ports, you're going to need to create these folders. But then we're gonna go into our BIOS folder. 
And in here is going to be where you would have any of your BIOS files that you would have used for the previous consoles that we ported over, but we can't just dump them into this file. We actually have to create a new sub file. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder and we're going to name this Neo CD. And then we're going to open up that folder and we're gonna move them into that folder there. Once they're in there, we're good to go. We no longer have to deal with BIOS files. We're gonna go back to the root of our USB drive. And again, we need to do the same thing as we did with Sega CD or TurboGrafx CD. We're gonna to need to load all of our game files onto the USB drive. So again, we're going into content, we're going into consoles, and we're going to create a new folder here. And it's important to note that the folder actually has to be labeled specifically as I have it here. So it needs to be SNK space dash space Neo with a capital N, space Geo with a capital G, space CD. So that's very important. It must be labeled exactly like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and open that folder. Now what we need to do is move our game files from our desktop or wherever they happen to be into this folder. Now it's important to note, just like with Sega CD and TurboGrafx CD, your Q file needs to match the folder name. So if you take a look at Metal Slug 2, for example, the folder is called Metal Slug 2, and then when I open it up, the Q file is actually not called Metal Slug 2. It has in brackets, Japan, English, Japan, .q. We can't have that. So we need to edit the Q file, and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this text here. So that way the Q file represents the same name as the folder that it's within. So that's very important as well. You do not have to mess around with the bin files, leave everything the way it is, but that's more or less it. So we're gonna grab our Metal Slug 2 and we're gonna dump it into our USB drive. While that's transferring in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've done the same thing with all of your other games. Additionally, you don't want your games to be too long in terms of their title because that will also cause it to break. So you're going to want to filter out any of the fluff and just make sure that the folder name and the queue name are identical. If that's the case, you're good to go ahead and grab your games and dump them onto the USB drive as well. Now, while this is all transferring over, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Okay, so now the games have all transferred onto the USB drive. We're more or less done with it with the exception of making our UCE files. Now to make the UCE files, we're going to go ahead and grab our add-on tool and we're gonna build them just like we would with any of our other consoles. We're gonna double click on the add-on tool. We're gonna go ahead and select our new core, which is the Neo CD underscore lib retro core, which should be on our desktop right over here. And then in terms of our bezel art, we've also got that on our desktop. Our box art, we're gonna go ahead and do Metal Slug 2. And in terms of the game ROM, same thing. Now we need to navigate to our USB drive. We need to go to our content folder. We need to go to consoles. We need to go to the SNK Neo Geo CD folder, Metal Slug 2, and we need to locate our Q file, which you're not gonna see right away. We have to change the general ROM file extension to any file and grab it right over here. Now we're more or less ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and build the package and we're gonna put this on our USB drive and it's not really important where it goes. You can kind of create a folder and label it whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and label this Neo Geo CD. We're gonna go ahead and save it inside of this folder and that's more or less it. It doesn't take long to do and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create the other UCE files and I'm just gonna skip forward to that. Okay, so now all my UCE files are created, my USBs are ready to go with my BIOS files and my game files. All that's left for us to do is grab our USB, pop it into our Legends Ultimate, and give it a go. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the cabinet. Okay, so here we are on the cabinet. Of course, you've gotta get your USB plugged in. You gotta wait for it to load properly, and then you're gonna navigate over to the BYOG section, and we're gonna jump into our add-ons. As you can see on the left hand side of the screen, we now have a folder called Neo Geo CD. And when we click on that, you're going to have access to your newly created UCE files. So I'm not gonna do much talking. I'm just gonna jump into some gameplay and show it off to you guys. And then we're gonna wrap up this video. So sit back and relax and enjoy some gameplay. Jinjo ni, 1 
All right, guys, there you have it. Again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Wild Coder for everything that he's doing. Awesome work, man. Keep it up. And don't forget to go down to the description and submit that photo for the At Games Mother's Day promotion that they're doing. I mean, who wouldn't want five free BYOG hours? So you may as well take advantage of it. And I'm sure some of you guys have some great photos to submit. But that's all I've got for you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon.